One of my favorite applications on my Mac is Screen Taker. But what does it do exactly? Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and welcome back to another tutorial on my Mac. And we're going to be taking a look at Screen Taker. Now, this is one of my go-to applications for what I do. Uh, this has done a lot of work for me. It's actually a paid application uh, from the App Store on the Mac. Uh, it's $4.99, so it's not exactly super, super, super cheap, like a $0.99 cents app. But 5 bucks is 100% worth it for what I do, for my YouTube thumbnails. Uh, for uh, my website, for creating posts and using images of iPhones. This is the go-to application. Basically, in a nutshell, what this app does is it takes a screenshot and puts it into an iPhone frame for you, and it's all PNG images so that it's literally just the iPhone. Uh, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here. So let's just open up the application. This is extremely simple. One thing I love about it. So literally it just says drop screenshot here. So up in the upper right-hand corner of my Mac here, I do have a couple of wallpapers. Uh, that I've been using on my iPhone. If you guys want my wallpapers, you can find them on Twitter. Uh, so be sure to follow. So let's go ahead and let's just take this wallpaper and drop it here. And boom, there you go. Now that uh, screenshot has an iPhone wrapped around it, which is really convenient. And uh, one thing that's cool about Screen Taker is these are actually really large, high resolution images. And I'll show you just how big they are in a minute. So. Uh, to break down Screen Taker here a little bit, I've actually covered this in the past, but I figure I covered it again just because I always have people asking me, you know, what I use, how do I do it, and so why not? Uh, but anyways, you got your devices, so you can choose between the iPhone 4S, the 5C, the 5S, the 6, 6 Plus. You got the iPod Touch, you got the iPad Air, and the iPad Mini. So lots of different devices uh, to choose from, which is really really nice. Uh, so we can go like just switch to the iPhone uh, 5C, I guess. As you guys can see, it might be a little hard to see, but it is the white iPhone 5C. If we go to orientation, it just allows you to, I guess, switch it to landscape left, to landscape right. But ultimately, that's not very necessary because I typically put this into uh, Pixelmator. That's the uh, Photoshop program that I use. And from there, you can really make any orientation you want. So orientation really isn't that big of a thing. Uh, the effects here. So you have your device. You have a device alternative or alternate. Uh, as you can see, that's now the blue iPhone 5C. Um, you can actually download more uh, effects from the Screen Taker website, if I remember correctly. So you can actually get, you know, different colored um, 5Cs. You can get uh, kind of different style effects, basically. Um, you have a full screen effect. You have a no status bar effect. Like I said, if this was like a screenshot of my uh, springboard or my home screen on my iPhone, it would actually just kind of cut off the status bar. So it would only be the dock in the application. So kind of cool. Um, but ultimately I just use this for the iPhone frame. That's the main feature I like about this. So let's go ahead and switch back to the iPhone six, uh, effect. You can change it to the, uh, the white or the silver, um, iPhone six. Um, so that's really nice that you can switch that. And that's really all screen taker is for. Now I can go ahead and click on save as I'm just going to save it as screenshot on my desktop and then. Uh, we can just close out of Screen Taker. I'm actually going to open up Pixelmator. This is what I use for uh, graphics and basically Photoshop stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a new um, a new project here. I'm going to make it actually 1920 by 1080. And you guys will see how big uh, Screen Taker um, makes these images of the iPhone, uh, basically your screenshot in the iPhone. So now keep in mind, this is a 1920 by 1080. So this is a full... HD canvas that we have right here big nice white canvas Let's take this screenshot that we made with screen taker and drop it in and look at how gigantic <laughs> uh, This is and it's just crystal clear literally crystal clear perfectly It's just it's it's gorgeous you even have on the bottom here by the home button You have just a little tiny bit of a shading effect. It just adds to it makes it look really pretty um, of course, like if you're doing like the iPads, those are really nice looking. It's just such a high quality. And uh, like I said, this is a PNG image. So literally, it's just the frame of the iPhone. Those, there's no white corners in it. Uh, very, very useful application. I use it all the time for my thumbnails and stuff. So let's say this is, uh, let me make this view a little bit smaller so it doesn't look so crazy. 
Uh, let's say this is a, uh, I don't know, a, a thumbnail I'm creating for a tweak. I can kind of like blow this up, uh, orientate it a little bit different. I don't know, something like that. Maybe it would look kind of cool. I can just go on and click on OK, and then boom, you got like a cool effect there. Um, I'm actually, I have all of my c controls for uh, Pixelmator on my other monitor just because there's a lot of controls. So I'm actually going to duplicate the screenshot. I just duplicated it. I'm going to go ahead and blow it up extremely huge, move it over, and then centerize it. I'm actually going to make it bigger, even bigger. So we take up the whole screen. Let's go ahead and centerize this. And I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just toying around right now just to give you guys ideas. I'm going to take my blur effect here, blur that out nice. We'll do a a nice, I don't know, maybe 15 pixel blur. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop the screenshot back on top like that. So kind of a cool effect. There's lots of different stuff you can do. Of course, this is all stuff that, you know, uh, your imagination is the limit when you when it comes to stuff like this. So uh, I just want to mainly show you guys the core functionality of Pixelmator, uh, sorry, not Pixelmator, uh, uh, Screen Taker, one of my favorite applications on my Mac, and I use it all the time. Like I said, very, very nice um, application. Five nine or four ninety nine in the App Store. I'll leave a link for it in the description in case you guys want to check this out. If you are on Mac and you want to uh, give this a go, maybe use it for something. This is actually what I've used to make um, like iPhone frames for videos and stuff like that. Basically, you just put in like a, a green screenshot into this iPhone frame, and it's real easy to cut out. Um, so that's me it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed another tutorial on how I do the stuff I do here on the channel. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That really helps me out a lot. And uh, leave some suggestions in the comments for other tutorials you guys would like to see. And I will pump those out for you. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to throw a thumbs up. I think I said that up once already. But anyways, this has been Jeremy and I'll catch you guys in the next